Behind the Shades. So I'm Kim Story. I am a master certified life coach and a clinical therapist in the mental health world. Um, I've been doing that for about 18 years. Um, you can find me, um, Facebook is Kim Story Coaching. Um, my private Facebook group for my working moms out there who need to go from surviving to thriving is under the Working Mom Mindset Reset. Um, or if you go to Kim Story Coaching, you'll also find me there. Um, you find me on Instagram, Kim Story Coaching, kind of the same theme. I kind of kept it consistent. So most uh, social media outlets, that's where you're going to find me. So I look forward to having others join um, many other working moms out there in this journey of really trying to find a way to come up with your own unique, and I say unique and unapologetic mindset that works for you. Uh, because that truly is where you're going to find the ability to thrive in life. Um, we spend a lot of time doing many other things and juggling a lot of responsibilities and we lose ourselves in that mission. So um, that's kind of where you'll find me and how I got to that spot is I really, you know, in my work, I've worked with women um, and families for a really long time. Um, and even when I was kind of focused on children early in my career um, in mental health, um, it was the moms, the moms are just like, I've got my kids who are struggling and I'm trying to make time for my career. And I'm trying to also be a good you know, wife or a good partner. And I don't know how to do all of this. I don't know how to meet the demands of everything that's coming to me. So a lot of times I felt like my attention would be shifted back to the mom and, and trying to help her understand how to manage her child with mental health needs, um, but also keep herself sane at the same time. Um, so that kind of spiraled into, you know, where I really just started focusing more um, with women, not necessarily working moms at the time, um, a lot of women with trauma in their background. And then um, being a mom of five, um, I've really kind of lived the journey um, along with thriving in my career in many different ways to kind of firsthand know what we need to do most to help ourselves. And it's really not that hard. It's a secret, but I'll share it with you here in a little bit. Perfect. So mothers wear many hats and I think they could all agree that they're a wife, they're a mother, <laughs> and they're still trying to remember many of them, right? Who they were before there were these two things, but now they're trying to navigate and show the world that, hey, I'm all these things and then some. In other words, they're all Wonder Woman. Some yes. are just as good, just yeah. as strong, and just Absolutely. as dedicated. So when you decided to <clears throat> work with women and do this, how did you, why did you start? working with women in this way? Mm -hmm. I really just the need. I mean, the, the need is so big out there. And I think it was more of, you know, when I was transforming from just mental health counseling to life coaching is that, you know, there is the stigma out there about mental health, which is always something I'm, I'm trying to bring awareness to, but not everyone views themselves as, you know, that I need therapy. Or I don't have time for therapy. Um, therapy makes me look like I'm weak and that I don't have all my stuff together. Uh, how do, you know, therapist schedules may not be super flexible. Um, I might have to wait a long period of time where, you know, with coaching, you know, my passion is I can give you a lot of information, a lot of resources, most importantly, encouragement, support, making it real, validating you where you are. And those are the skills you're going to need lifelong. And so it, it can be a very short window of time. And for me, it's always like work smarter, not harder. Um, and so as I started to kind of formulate all of these, you know, experiences of my own personal life, professional life, and how do I really help working moms knowing they are limited in time, they are limited in flexibility. They are juggling multiple tasks and hats. Um, how do I 
give them the support that they need to not just live in survival mode. I mean, I think all of us have kind of been there and done that. It's not a fun place to be, but sometimes we don't think it can be any different. And so it was really when I figured out, you know, it can be different. It can be as different as I want it to be. I was like, this is amazing. I need to share this with every working mom that I know so that they can experience this transition of motherhood with a career the same way that I have and hundreds of other ladies that I have worked with have been able to do because it is inspiring. I always think this work for me is this work for me is easy because I get to sit here and, you know, watch women transform their lives and then sit back and go, that was amazing. And they had it in them the entire time. They just didn't know how to get access to it. Um, so that's kind of as, you know, my brain was kind of putting things together. I was like, working moms is where I connect the most, where I feel the most passionate about it's, you know, something that there's millions of us out there. There's no shortage. That's also for sure. Um, and you know, in a lot of my research in mental health, they say 40% of working moms are diagnosed with anxiety and or depression. And my radar was like, I'm pretty sure it's like 99. Um, it's just the other, you know, 60%, 59% of us don't go in to get that help and support that we need, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And so shifting away from therapy into coaching seemed to kind of really help me have better access um, to way more working moms out there than I could as a therapist. We're limited based on licensure um, of what we can do in that space. So coaching was my way to help more working moms be more impactful and really give them the same transformation um, that I would with any working mom that I worked with. Thank <laughs> you.